A security officer working at a downtown Louisville gas station is charged with murder after police say he shot a man. It happened at the Thorntons at First and Broadway right in downtown Louisville last night. WHS 11's Connor Stephan is joining us here right now with new details as well as reaction from a local security firm about how this shooting was handled. Connor? Yeah, Doug, well, we're still trying to learn more information about what happened at last night. But one Louisville security firm says situations like this one would seem to defy proper training protocol. The only thing I could elaborate on a little bit is that is in a loss prevention setting as a firearm with a security officer, it's not a good mix. You're going to get an altercation. According to arrest records, Sunday night, 32-year-old Tavon Parrish accused a customer of trying to steal beer when the two began to argue. Parrish told police he thought the customer wanted to fight, so he pulled the gun on him and shot him. The victim dying at the scene. We spoke with Louisville firm Shaw Secure Solutions. They say in situations similar to this one, they teach trainees to de-escalate. Steps. We're going to try and say, okay, let's calm down. This can all be right. We can put the item back. Nothing's going to happen. If the suspect then wants to just keep saying, no, I don't have anything, and then they start to push forward, we can do a little a bit of hands-on, but we're still going to try and remain hands open. We're going to try and stay back and you know, keep distance between us and the suspect. Unarmed security officers plays up probably 80 to 85 percent of the business, uh, if not more, really. Uh, there's a very low number of the uh, armed security officers in the area. So the firm says there are properly trained armed security details in the area, but... It's so much easier to get a store ban on an individual versus actually going hands-on with them. If they steal a product, uh, companies budget for loss. After reaching out to Thorns for comment, they provided us with the following statement, quote, we're deeply saddened by the fatality that occurred at our store. We're actively working with local authorities during this ongoing investigation. Doug, back to you. Connor, thank you very much.